KSPW Weather with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you. Here we go. High pressure is scooting on out of California, leaving us with mild conditions. Cooler conditions sneaking in from the northwest, and that's causing some drizzle along the coast with an increased marine layer. We're seeing that just under 2,000 feet. In fact, we're going to even see chances of rainfall moving into northern California. This is how it's all going to play out. You can see here we're looking at future cast. Now we're going to go by temperatures here. You can see the color legend up there, and right along uh, the coastline, we're going to start to see the upper 50s coming right into the picture. We're going to also see, if you can lose my font, you can see uh, some 60s, some 70s still holding on to the area. Now by Thursday, Day, we get an influx of southerly winds that are coming in, even though rainfall is going to be sneaking in from the, the northwest, getting into the Bay Area and bringing a possible shower or two for us. We're going to see warmer winds coming in from the south, so extra humidity, humidity working into the area, and then eventually you're going to see cooler conditions coming in for the remainder of the week, where we'll see below seasonal temperatures getting all the way into the weekend and eventually trying to warm us back by the time we get into Sunday. In fact, the temperature trend for the inland areas, you're starting to see temperatures well below the 80s, getting down into 76 by Saturday 82 comes back again for uh, Sunday and eventually by Monday we'll see those uh, warmer temperatures and seasonal temperatures return and then above that as we go into midweek. We'll also pick up the winds today northwest 10 to 20 miles per hour. That'll last over to midnight and by the time we get in the morning we are overcast conditions with chances of rainfall slipping out of San Jose right into the Santa Cruz mountains extending down possibly to the Monterey Peninsula. This is how it all plays out here 48 hour totals that we're looking at uh, just under a, a two tenths of an inch possible for some of the locations from Santa Cruz in the mountains all the way up into San Jose and then back down to the Monterey Peninsula. So it'll be short, brief, moving out of the area, and then we move on to a nice looking day. 72 in Santa Cruz today. We get into more 70s up in the mountains. 68 for Salinas, and we'll see some 60s, some upper 50s along the Monterey Peninsula, going to 70 degrees for Big Sur and Carmel Valley. Now, as you go right into the valley here along Highway 101, you're going to see those numbers from 72 degrees in San Jose to 78 as you get into King City. We'll load the clouds and fog back again tonight. We'll have the winds tapering after midnight, as I told you. 47 to 54 degrees for your temperatures in the morning. And then we have the cooler conditions working through the area with a chance of rainfall for tomorrow. And then here we go. There we go. Right through Friday, Saturday, temperatures dipping down below seasonal averages. Eventually, they'll still be not very lightly nice, but breezy indeed. We'll get into the inland side. We'll see mostly 60s and 70s, losing those 80s until we get back into Sunday. And of course, by Monday, Tuesday, we'll start to increase a warming trend going in with seasonal temperatures. Temperatures returning.